The budget smartphone space is a fiercely contested territory, with Indian and international brands both eager to snatch a piece of the pie. The latest entry to dip its toes into this arena is Huawei's uniquely named offering, the Honor Holly. Competitively priced at Rs 6,999, we've been using the budget smartphone for the past couple of weeks to gauge its metal. And here's our verdict. There's not much to say about the Honor Holly's design. It's simple, sturdy and no frills, which is great if all you care about is functionality. If not, you might be hard-pressed to find reasons to call it pretty. Available in a single two-tone variant, the top half is black while the bottom half is white. The build materials aren't premium, with a glossy texture that's liable to get smudged and scratched. The facade is fairly standard, with the earpiece, front camera sensors and notification LED above the display, and a row of capacitive non-backlit Android buttons below. Around the sides, you'll find the 3.5mm audio jack on top, the micro USB port and primary microphone at the bottom, and the volume rocker and power button on the right. The rear panel of the Holly is removable and can be pried off quite easily. Inside, you'll find the removable battery and a pair of micro SIM card slots. The square-shaped primary camera, flash, secondary microphone and loudspeaker are located on the outside. The Honor Holly's 5-inch display features HD resolution, a rarity in its price range. Brightness levels and color gamut are acceptable, but the display doesn't do well in sunlight, especially given its overtly reflective nature. Unfortunately, Huawei has skimped on Gorilla Glass or Dragon Trail Glass protection, making the display easily susceptible to getting scratched. In the photography department, the Holly sports an 8-megapixel primary camera with a Samsung DSi sensor, as well as a 2-megapixel front camera for video calls. When it comes to results, the images from the primary camera feature vibrant, although slightly oversaturated colors. The camera unfortunately has trouble locking focus, and this becomes more problematic with macro shots. In low light, images are dark and noisy, requiring the use of a flash in most situations. The front camera can take acceptable selfies, but is better suited to video calls. The Honor Holly runs Android 4.4.2 KitKat, overlaid with Huawei's Emotion UI 2.3. Unfortunately, it is a bare-bones version of the interface, skipping out on most of the best features. The UI has been highly modified over stock Android, with large colourful icons that are splattered all over the home screen thanks to the lack of an app draw. You can change the layout of the home screen to Simple Home, which converts the UI into an easy-to-use format featuring large blocks for app icons and bigger font sizes for easy visibility. The multitasking menu can be brought up by double-tapping the home button, while long pressing it will launch Google Now. Most of the advanced controls in Emotion UI settings are missing, with only a dedicated SIM management section for assigning a default SIM for voice calls, messages and data. Powering the Honor Holly is a quad-core MediaTek MT6582 processor clocked at 1.3 GHz, paired with 1 GB of RAM. In day-to-day -day performance, the Honor Holly isn't as smooth as we'd like, mainly owing to the heavy UI. We noticed a few unwarranted app closes and slight lags when multitasking, but nothing that left us feeling overtly concerned. Popular games like Subway Surfers play without any glitches, as do more intensive titles like Riptide GP2. In terms of storage, the Honor Holly packs in a generous 16 GB, which is the highest in its price range. Out of the onboard memory, around 12.8 GB is available to use, and a micro SD card slot supports further expansion. The Honor Holly packs in a 2000 mAh battery unit which lasts through the day with regular use. In a battery drain test, the smartphone lasted 7 hours and 30 minutes, which is above average in its price range. The Huawei Honor Holly has a lot going for it. It offers a roomy display with HD resolution, reliable performance, generous storage and most of all the magic price tag of Rs 6999. But it faces some tough competition from the Xiaomi Redmi 1S, Motorola Moto E and Android One smartphones, to name a few. We do have a few gripes with the device, such as the uninspiring UI, lack of screen protection and plasticky build. But all in all, it remains one of the best options in the budget performance segment.